He wrote the advertising in advance, and then you had to build the product, nearly always. And if you came up with a new idea that we would go from simple amplifier circuits to high fidelity systems, to ones that came in boxes that weren't kits, the margins would be better. But if you went from amplifiers to what came next, that was much more exciting because we went from amplifiers really into calculators. Calculators were a bit of a, an unlikely switch for us, it seemed. But we dealt with Texas Instruments and the salesman in Bedford mentioned they'd got this new single chip calculator TMS 1802, and he told Clive about it. We turned it over in our heads for a while, and, or he did mostly. Clive always had a New Year's Eve party, which was a hideously drunken event, but uh, uh, I was hideously drunk at it, and uh, yeah, so were a lot of other people. The only trouble is I had to go to Texas Instruments the next morning to collect the first three samples of this new chip. TMS 1802. I was sick on the plane. I was sick. I was so ill with the, the hangers. My car broke down on the way to the airport. It was a nightmare. But I got there eventually and went to see the our contact in TI in Texas. Collected these samples and flew back. And when I got back, I had to make put them together, M create the first um, keyboard that needed, was needed to test this thing. I mean, there was a circuit with it. It showed you wh what it had to do, but, uh, but we had to make a keyboard. Well, we never used a keyboard before, never had a keyboard before. So it's made little bits of bent wire in a row. And, uh, one of the other chats there, Jim Wester was working on the power supply to run this thing. And uh, gradually we built up a, a breadboard thing. And it is one of the most extraordinary moments of all when the power supply was put on. The power supply was, a, uh, was part of the um, clock, it was driven by the the oscillator and the clock. So you started off with a very low speed clock. Um, and uh, so when we first switched it on, there was just a flashing light on one, one of these um, little seven segment displays. And it wasn't very much fun at all. Press the keyboard, it didn't do anything. Till we realized that we needed speed the clock up a lot to get anything. And when we did it and we dabbed it, and suddenly a, a, a seven segment character appeared before our very eyes. And it used the times button and, and it came up with 16. Eight times two is 16 and it was magic. This was the closest thing to magic I've ever seen. Uh, this bit of chip sitting there and telling us the right result. We all came up and just looked with an amazement at this thing doing the calculation, simple as that. So from then onwards, calculators became the center of attraction and as you know, Sinclair did an awful lot more of them after the executive, which was the first one.